Well, hello guys. It's already time for us to start the class. Even though it is only two of you, we are going to start the class, okay? So probably the other ones are going to connect in some minutes. So um, we're going to try to try to start right now because you know we just have one hour and sometimes one hour is not enough. So uh, as usual, I would like to ask you if you can hear me clearly so we don't have any type of interferences or something like that. Is it clear? Can you listen to me clearly? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for confirming that. So uh, welcome guys once again to the class. And uh, today we are going to try to practice as much as possible. And we are going to also check some topics, well, the topic that we didn't finish yesterday, because we're still going to go with the WH questions. But today, we are going to focus a little bit more on the WH question, how? Okay, so um, even though how does not start with the WH, because it starts with a H O, right? So even though with that, it, how is it still considered part of the WH questions? So before we move on, guys, I'm pretty sure that all of you saw the message from administration. Did you saw the message on WhatsApp, on the WhatsApp group about the platform? For today, guys, you should have finished or complete at least section one from the platform so you don't have any problems, okay? Because remember that you have to work on the platform. So uh, the person in charge of the platform and also me, we are going to check if you are working on the platform or not. So with the ones that are here, I would like to know, did you complete all the exercises on the platform? Uh, I finished only exercise one. Just exercise one? Yes, but I continued on today, maybe. So when you said exercise one, what do you mean? Did you finish section one? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, in the platform. Oh, only section one, is that? What yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's no problem. I will accept, I will accept if you are, I mean, I understand that some of you work during the day. I understand that some of you are doing a lot of things during the day. And sometimes you don't have enough time you know, like to do exercises or something like that. That's completely understandable. So what I need you to tell me is, I mean, Vilma already told me that she only worked on section number one. What about the other ones? Did you complete section number one and section number two or you had the same situation as Vilma? Hi, teacher. Yes, let, wait, okay, let me see Rosemary, go ahead. And we will go with you later, Bruce, okay? Okay. All right, let's uh, have a question, Rosemary. Yo voy en el, en el, bueno, en la sección donde la plataforma, pero en el último examen, digamos, pero no lo he podido completar y no sé qué es lo que tengo malo. Porque okay. donde sale un audio, pero no, no le he podido pasar. Okay, all right. So at least you will almost finished. You almost finished section number two. That's fine, okay? That's perfect. So um, if you have any situation or uh, any question about that exercise, you can text me on WhatsApp so I can help you to resolve that, okay? So we can work on that. The other one, guys, what about the other ones, Claudia? To work no on the exercise? No, no puedo. You no couldn't, puedo. right? Okay. 
So um, let me try to get your name again, because um, so uh, I try to send the information to administration, but I yeah. didn't help you with that. You have this situation? Es que me mandan el link, uh -huh. en, pero no me, me dice que me, se me ha bloqueado. Vuelvo después de 30 minutos. Y me mm -hmm. dice lo mismo. No me deja entrar. No puedo verlo. Oh, okay. So it's locked, probably, or blocked. So um, so I think that you send me your information through WhatsApp, right? Yes. Okay, so I will try to send that information again and, uh, today so you can have access to that because the situation is that you are not working on the platform, they to think that you don't want to work on the platform. And to in your situation is something for technical support. So I will try to send your information to technical support. They can resolve that today, if not today, tomorrow. So you can start working on the platform on Saturday or Sunday, okay? So, don't worry about it, okay? If okay. something happens, I will let you know through WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Very good. So what about the other ones? Maximo? How about you? Or oh, Luis? Oh, you had a question, Luis, right? So I'm sorry. Okay, teacher, no problem. Go ahead. I, I have in the same problem as Rosemary. Uh-huh. Because the exor the final exercise, mm -hmm. uh, the of section number two. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I use the answer mm -hmm. that you give me. Uh huh. But uh, any any two are good. Okay, so sometimes, I mean, sometimes you understand the like the platform because that's a system, you know, it's like a robot working there. So it's not, sometimes it's not 100% accurate because, you know, if you don't put a period, automatically it's incorrect. Or if you don't put a capital letter, it's not correct. Or if you put uh, something uh, in an extra letter or an extra space, it's incorrect. So sometimes we have to be very careful on that. And uh, have you try to check what's the problem or um, still it's saying incorrect even though it is correct? Because the second, the third, and the fourth, it's correct. The answer uh, gives you Give me, mm -hmm. it's correct. Only the first, it's bad. Okay, so I will check your message again and I will try to verify what's the situation with you, okay? In case I need any extra information from you, I will text you through WhatsApp so you can give me that information to report to technical support, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Very good. What about the other ones? Patricia, Maximo, Carlos Antonio, Elizabeth, Ana Maritza, Damaris. How about you guys? Are you having any situation in the platform? Not teacher. No problems? No, no okay. problems. All right, perfect. So what about the other ones? I did the uh, part one only. Just part one, okay, no problem. So, okay, part one. Cool, what about you, Carlos Antonio? Did you work on the exercises? Sonia, what about you? I have a problem in the section two. Section and two. the final exam. Is the same situation as Rosemary and Luis? Yes. Okay, so we're. I, I'm going to check that part. So probably something there that you might not be understanding, but I will check that. So Carlos, what about you? 
Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, no, no problem. Lo único okay. que este, yo he estado muy ocupado, entonces no he podido ingresar a la plataforma, pero pienso ponerme al día entre hoy y mañana. Ok. Porque Perfect. Si no, so, no, no he podido ingresar, no, no he visto ni los ejercicios. Ok, I understand. De hecho, anoche, ayer no me conecté porque tenía un compromiso de trabajo. Ok, ok, that's, that's not a problem. I mean, Pero sí, ya, ya recibí el mensaje que tengo que estar este, adelantado el 80%. Yes, yes, you have to work on that, guys, because remember, we are checking, we are checking who is working and who is not working. So if you don't work on the platform or, or if you don't do the exercises, we are checking that. And that counts as part of your responsibility, as you know, even though, okay. I mean, we have a lot of situations and I completely understand that because uh, I mean, probably all of, some of you are working till night and I mean, that's, that's life. So we have to keep moving on. So Claudia. Okay, thank you. Yes, Claudia. Sí, en mi situación, uh -huh. podría, podría enviarme las fotos y hacerlas aunque sea a mano. Well, in that case, it's not possible because uh, the platform is like something that you are like it it records what you're doing. I mean, your job and that. Those exercises go directly to administration. So administration can see that you are working. Because if I send you the photo, I will be the only one who will know that you're working, but they will not know. So in that case is not possible, but we will try to resolve your situation. Don't worry about it. And we will try to resolve that. Okay. So um, we are going to start with base class, guys. And I'm pretty sure that if you have more questions regarding to the platform, remember that we have the WhatsApp group and don't, do not hesitate. If you have doubts, text me. If you have questions, text me. If you have comments, text me so I can help you, okay? Um, I, uh, I apologize if I don't, I mean, I don't answer quickly because sometimes I'm also doing some things and I try to respond uh, as quicker as possible. Okay, so now we are going to do a practice right now according to what we saw yesterday. Yesterday's topic was about WH questions. So, uh, let me give you a verb through the chat and I will need you to create a question using the verb that I'm going to give you, okay? So this is the verb for you. We have the verb carry. Do you know what the verb carry means? You know? Llevar. Llevar o cargar, oui? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. So um, I need you to make a question using the verb carry, obviously using any WH question anything. I just want to see if you are able to create questions just from a verb. Okay, so let's go. We are 15 on the call. I will need 15 answers. Okay, we're going to be checking all of you. So please go ahead. Okay, Patricia, thank you very much. I can see yours there. I hope you are thinking, espero que estén pensando y no buscando en internet, vea. I hope you're thinking. Okay, Damaris. Okay, that's good. You can see yours there. I 
I just have two at this moment, guys. I have Vilma Melendez already. I have Sonia Araceli too. Okay. All right, let me see. I can see Maximo. Okay, what about the other ones? I'm still missing Carlos Antonio's sentence, question. I'm still missing Ana Marita, Luis, Elizabeth, Juan Cruz, Alba Marisol, and Nancy, and Rosemary too. Okay, now I can see Luis, okay. Claudia, I'm still missing yours too. I can see Nancy Maldonado right now too. Well, so we're going to stop there and we're going to take into consideration just the ones we have, okay? The other ones, I mean, it's fine if you don't want to participate, that's, that's perfect. We're going to take into consideration just the ones we have. So we're going to go with the first one, which belongs to Patricia Rodriguez. She said, or she wrote, where you carry my dog? Now, a question for you all. Is there something missing there? Is there something missing on the what? Where do or the auxiliary do? The auxiliary yeah. do. So we can say, where do you carry my dog? Mm -hmm. Very good. Then Damaris Vega, that's a good question because you're using the auxiliary there. Vilma Menendez, that's a good question too. Sonia Araceli. Sonia, what are we missing? The auxiliary, right? Is to know who. Yeah, I mean, it's who who do you carry this table? But you're still missing the auxiliary do. Do yes. Maximo, back back back. I don't know what to say with that. Probably backpack. Sure, I mean, backpack. Hey, okay. mochila. Okay, it was just, just one letter if that is not correct there, but I mean, the question is perfect. Then we go with Luis Arevalo, that's good. Nancy Maldonado, that's good. Claudia, Claudia, we're missing the auxiliary there. And we are also missing the question mark at the end. Mary, okay. where are you? Okay. Sorry. Where are my books? That's good. Elizabeth, who do you, who do you care, man? What are you trying to say with that, with that question, Elizabeth? What are, what do you think, or what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say with, with that question? Try, uh, what does it mean, trying? Try, tratar. Ah, que trato de preguntar, ¿qué, ¿quién se llevó mis zapatos? Mm, ¿Quién se llevó? Are we no. talking in present or in past there? Si yo digo, ¿quién se llevó? Am I talking in present or in past? En presente, ahorita. ¿Quién me lo quitó? Mm. Well, it's, it's like 50-50, okay? Because if we say... Who you carry? It's like who do you carry? A quien a quien llevas o a quien cargas? So it's like uh, that case. That question is not is not possible in that case. 
Okay. But I mean the the structure or it's it's well used. La estructura está bien hecha, solo que el contexto de la pregunta no eh, no da un significado muy muy adecuado. Pero la fórmula está bien utilizada. Entonces, en este caso, ¿cómo sería? Eh, you're trying to say, ¿quién se llevó mis zapatos? Sí, o qui sí, ¿quién se, se, como que los acabo de tener acá y me los quitaron. ¿Y quién se llevó mis zapatos? Ok. Like, I will write it on the chat so you can see it. Uh, y esto es algo que probablemente vamos a ver más adelante que se llaman preguntas indirectas. ¿Por qué? Yo no lo estoy preguntando a alguien específicamente. Yo solo digo en general, en general. ¿Quién se lo llevó? Yo no le estoy preguntando. ¿Quién? Tú o yo. No estoy diciendo a nadie. Entonces, por eso no utilizo ningún auxiliar ahí. But we are going to study that later. ¿Ok? Not for the moment. Entonces, por eso que te decía que la pregunta así no tiene sentido, pero la estructura está bien utilizada. Okay. Okay. So now okay. we, we have Juan Cruz, the auxiliary Juan, and Carlos Antonio, when do you carry my book? Okay, good. So now we're going to move on to what we have for today, guys, which is the WH questions or the questions with how. Yesterday, we just saw a little bit about how, but today we're going to continue with that. Okay, so I will need, um, let me see. Maximo, would you like to help me reading this part, please? How it's used to ask about the way something is done, the condition of something or the degree or something. All right, so it says that we are going to use how when we want to know the condition of something or the degree of something. As we saw yesterday, we have a variety. Tenemos una variedad de preguntas que podemos hacer con how. A variety. And today, we are going to go one by one so we can understand it all. For example, we can use, podemos utilizar how, como les decía al inicio, es tomada como parte, it, it counts as a WH question, even though, aunque no empieza con WH, right? Empieza con H, H-O. So even though we start with H-O, still makes part of the WH questions. So with how, we can use either adverbs or adverbs, okay? If I say far, is that an adjective or an adverb? What do you think? Is far adjective or adverb? Okay. Is that an adjective? What do you think? Adjective or adverb? Adverb. 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 Okay, so we already saw the adverbs. Frequency. We saw adverbs of frequency. Obviously, there's a lot more, a variety of adverbs too. In this case, when I say how far, how far I am talking about a distance of something. For example, let me write it on the chat. If I say how far is the savior of the world from San Salvador Center? If I say something like that, how far is the savior of the world from San Salvador Center? If I ask you a question like that, how would you respond to that, uh, Carlos Antonio? What would you respond or how would you uh, answer that question? What would you say? ¿Qué responderías? What would you say?
Any any idea? Okay, you know what? Necesito que todos me den una respuesta probable o posible a esa pregunta. ¿No quieren participar? Two kilómetros, teacher. Oh, say, who said that? Vilma, Two is that kilómetros. You? Two, Two kilómetros. Yes, maybe. Near to San Salvador. Near to San Salvador. Okay, makes sense. What else? Who else would like to participate? Sonia, would you like to say something? It's near. It's near. It will, that will be possible too. But when we say how far and we want to know the distance of something, we're going to use the measure measurements. I can say two kilometers, five kilometers. It's near from the center of San Salvador. I going to use things that are going to tell me that I'm talking about distance, okay? So I can say two meters, two kilometers, five kilometers, one block, two blocks, and so on and so on. Because this person is asking me how far, que tan lejos, how far is the savior of the world from San Salvador's center. Are you following me, guys? Okay, let me write another question. And I need everyone to give me an answer to that. Let's go. Everyone, please give me an answer to that question. How long have you been studying English? Type in the chat, please. Everyone, todos. Uh, I, sure. I am studying English um, for 14 kilometers. From 14 kilometers. Okay. All right. That was uh, um, there, like 50-50. Some parts were okay, some others were not. Teacher, oh, because you are asking that I am time. studying English for one year. Mm -hmm. No, distance. Uh, teacher, you are asking a long or time or space or distance? No, in time. this case, how since long? we have how, how long? long. Ah, how long? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, I have uh, several years. To start okay. English. Yes, okay. See, sorry, sorry. Okay. It's okay. I have uh, some years to study English. I have some years studying English. Yeah, that's perfect if you say that. That's good. Okay, thanks. Who else was saying something? Vilma, were you saying something? I'm sorry, I missed it. Can you repeat it again? Yes, I am studying, studying English for two year, for one year. For one year, okay. Okay, something that I that I notice, algo que noto es que cambian el tiempo de la hora de la pregunta. I'm sorry, I was studying. I was studying, okay? Makes sense, estaba estudiando. Mm, okay, la pregunta dice, ¿Hace cuánto has estado estudiando inglés? Has estado. Algo muy importante. Something I have been studying English. Like that. Just... Like that, yes. Something that I need you to understand, algo que necesitan que entiendan es que la misma pregunta les da la respuesta. So if I have there, have you been, yo voy a responder, I have been, I have been studying English for, I don't know, for a year. For a year or for two years, I don't know, you tell me. So that will be something like that. I have been studying English for a year. Why? 
Porque en la misma pregunta yo estoy utilizando have you been. So what we have to be careful is that listen to the question and the question is going to give you the answer to the same question. See? Yes, I understand. Okay. So Elizabeth, I see that you put there, I study English for six months. Estudio inglés por seis meses. Uh, esa es una acción que si tú dices I study, it's talking about the present. Yo estudio inglés. Hasta ahí estamos bien. Si tú agregas por seis meses, en ese, en ese momento ya no puedes utilizar el símbolo. Porque es una acción que tú has venido haciendo por más tiempo. Ok. So, uh, we're going to move on. Is there any questions so far with how far and how long? Do you have any question? Alguna pregunta con how far and how long? Or is clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir, clear. Sure. Tam también mi ejemplo está malo, ¿verdad? Let me Yo see, uh, Luis. It says, I studied English for seven months. Estudié inglés por siete meses. Ok, si lo tomamos, no lo if we take it on the sense, en el sentido de que una acción, de que esa acción, quiere decir que si tú me dices esto, tú ya no estás estudiando inglés, porque mm. estudiaste. En, como en el pasado. Ya la terminaste y ya no la estás haciendo. Ah, ok. Pero si Thank tú you. me dices, I have been studying, es una acción que tú hiciste, comenzaste en el pasado y sigue y aún lo sigo haciendo. presente. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. That's the difference. Ok. Ok, any questions so far with how far and how long? Or it's clear, I mean, I think it is clear that part. So we're going to move on with how, Sonia, yes. Please, uh, other example with how long? Uh, if, if we have another example, you mean? Si nos puede dar otro ejemplo de, de how long? Okay, Por favor. Let, let me write it down. Let me see how long. Hmm. How long you live in San Salvador? How long you live? Mm -hmm. Do you live? Your example. If I say something like that, how long has she lived in San Salvador? Me estoy refiriendo que mm -hmm. cuánto ella ha estado viviendo en San Salvador. So how am I going to answer that? ¿Cómo voy a responder eso? I will say... She, she, has, she yes. has lived in San Salvador, I don't know, for two years, for one month, for mm -hmm. one week, okay. five years. Okay. Excellent, Maximo. Right, like that. See? Yeah. Muy yes. importante yes. es que how long, how long, la mayoría de veces o algunas ocasiones se va a utilizar bastante con ese tiempo. But, yo también lo puedo utilizar con otros tiempos, such as this one. I have an example here. It says, how long will it take? If I say something like that, what do you understand from that question? How long will it take? What do you understand by that question? If I ask you, how long will it take? ¿Cuánto le tomó? ¿Cuánto le tomó? No, if you say le tomó, automatically that's past. Tomará. Le tomará, perdón. Tomará, Sorry. exactly, because we're talking about future. As soon as you see, cuando ustedes vean el will there, when you see the will, you know automatically we're talking about future. So we say, ¿Cuánto le tomará? How long will it take? How am I going to answer that question? I can answer something like, 
it will take, it will take it, or it will take two hours, something like that. It will take two hours. Tomará dos horas. That's it. Okay. So remember, de acuerdo al tiempo, according to the tense that you have on the question, that's the tense that you are going to use in your answer, okay? Do not confuse the tenses. If you see that the question is in present, you will have to answer in present. If you see that the question is in past, answer the question in past. If you see that the question is in future, as, uh, answer the question in future, okay? Do not mix the tense. No hay que confundir todos los temas, okay? Are we clear still there? Teacher, yes, in this Bill. case, thank you, space, we, how, how we use Stay. space, with how long, how, how use. long? Yes. Uh, do you mean the verb stay like S? Space. S T A Y, like that, stay? No, space. Oh, space. Yes, in this case, this time or space. Oh, space. oh. parenthesis. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Yes. Now, I understand. So now, when we say something like, how long will it take? Yeah, mm -hmm. the how long will it take? ¿Cuánto le tomará? No estamos hablando de espacio, estamos hablando de tiempo. Tiempo. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. si yo respondo, yo le voy a decir, tomará, it will take two hours. Automáticamente mm -hmm. estoy diciendo, tomará dos horas. Yes, but in this case, uh, say that I use time, time or time. space. How I I use space in this case with ah, how Ah, okay. Teacher, That's... give us some example uh, using space. Okay, so cool. Now I understand, okay. Okay. All right. Let me see. Um, let me write it down. That take. All right, so do you understand that question? Yeah. How long will that be built? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so we say, how long will that be built? En cuánto tiempo estará o cuánto le tomará para estar construido, to be built. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I say something like that, and when I refer to a space, cuando me refiero a es Space, no me refiero literalmente a espacio. Sí, me puedo a un espacio, like in a house. No, I'm not talking directly to that. So if I answer that question, it will be something like, let me see, that will take or like that will take two or three years to be built. Okay, take a look at the answer. That will take three years to be built. Mm -hmm. tres años para yes. ser construido. Yes, yes. When I say that, estoy hablando de un espacio en el tiempo, de un periodo de tiempo. So I said that for more than two years, por más de dos años, Mm -hmm. Estar en proceso de construcción. So that, a eso le llamo space. I don't know if you understand. Yes, yes. I understand. But you, you said, um, but we uh, understand that two, uh, for example, time or space, it's the same time. time. 
the space of time, the one, two, three months, one, two, three years is time. Well, well, no, not really. It depends on the perception. It depends on yeah, the yeah. Okay. on the context. This is the, the do we have mm -hmm. the, the use when when to use the space. Okay, but I understand. For okay. Me, I understand. okay, cool. So now let's move on to how many and how many we are going to use it with quantity. Let me show you something here. We have here how many how are we going to use how many we are going to use how many when we have with plural countable nouns for example how many students do you have how many students do you have so every single time that i use many it's because the thing i have is countable okay so I'm able to count one, two, three, four, five. So I can I can count it. Yeah. So every single time that you ask a question like that, for example, if I ask you, uh, Sonia, if I ask you, how many books do you have? I have five books. I have five books. As you can see, she probably has 10 books, but she can count them. Okay. Yeah. She can count them. So every single time that we use how many, we are going to use it because the noun, we can count it, okay? If you cannot count it, what are you going to use? You are going to use how much, okay? Mm -hmm. Example, what is something that I cannot count? In English, water is something that I cannot count. What else? Do you have any other idea? Can I count sugar? Uh -huh, sure. <laughs> sugar. I cannot count sugar. I cannot count what else? Money. Money, even though, aunque pareciese que sí, right? In our context, it looks like I can count it because I can say... Uh, you know, $10, $20, $50, but in English, money is a non-countable noun. Can I count love? It's uncountable. Uncountable, because if I, I can sure. count love, I can say, I have uh, three pounds of love. Tengo tres libras de amor. No, right? I cannot say that. So that's possible. So those are things that we cannot count. I also start. How much water do you need? Yeah, like that. Claudia wrote an example on the chat. As you see, she says, how much water do you need? So you can say something like, uh, uh, I need some water. Some water, or I need a lot of water. I need quite a lot. So those are the, the answers that we are going to give to those type of situations. So sure. back, yes. It's correct. I need three glass of water. I need three glasses, three of, glasses water. of water. Yeah, that is correct. Even though, uh, or probably you might think, alguien podría pensar, pero si me está diciendo tres vasos de agua, so entonces lo puedo contar. It, yes. it looks like, uh, like something confusing. Sometimes it's kind of confusing, but not, I mean, even though you are saying three glasses of water, but the water that you have on the glasses is non countable water, even though it looks like a glass. I don't know if you follow me or understanding what I'm saying. Are, are we understanding, guys? Yes. 
Okay, what about the other ones? Yes, teacher. Rosemary, Sonia, are you understanding? Yes? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, cool, perfect. So now we have, we're going to see another example here of how many, how many cars are there? How many cars are there? To reply or how would you answer that question? How many cars are there? What would you say if someone asked you that question? There are two cars. There are two cars. Excellent, because I have there, there. Okay. Now, if someone asked me, how much money do you have? I have five dollars. I can say <laughs> I have five <laughs> I can say that I have five dollars or I can <laughs> simply say I have some money. Uh, some money. I have uh I don't much money. money things like that. Okay, but that's good. All right, now let's move on with how old. When we use how old, we are talking about the age. Estamos hablando de la edad, okay? Last time or yesterday, I was telling you that in the past, we had a student that asked a question like, how many years do you have? This student, este estudiante estaba tratando de preguntarle a otro estudiante, ¿cuántos años tiene? O él pensó que como how many es cuántos años, él preguntó, how many years do you have? But that's not possible. Porque es traducir literalmente algo. When I want to know, cuando yo quiero saber la edad de alguien, yo le pregunto, how old are you? Jamás preguntar how many years. Okay, that's not incorrect. For the next time, if you're going to ask someone, how old are you? ¿Cómo respondemos? I am. I am. I am. Okay. I am. You are. We are. She is. He is. They are. And so on and so on. Another thing. La mayoría o hay veces cometemos el error de utilizar el verbo have to use the verb have. Solo porque sabemos que significa tener. Por ahí dijo, I have two years. Tengo dos años, estaba pensando que decía. But in English, we do not use the verb have. Even though the verb have means tener, we never use it when we are talking about the age. We are always going to use the verb be. So we are going to say, I am... 25, I am 26, I am 30, I am 40, I am 15, I am 16, and so on and so on, okay? So, yesterday I was also telling you that we use informal situations here. How come is something informal? Very, very informal. How many years has the century? A century, a century. A century, okay. In that case, it's possible. In this case, it's possible because I'm no longer talking about age. I'm talking about years. Okay. That case is possible. Thank you very much for that example, uh, Maximo. Now, uh, when we have how come this is just because you want to know why you want to know why something is happening but remember that this is informal english so i want to ask you how come i can't see her how come it means like como es posible how come i can't see her como es posible que no pueda verla how come i cannot see her how would you respond or how would you answer to that? ¿Cómo responderían a esa pregunta? 
Mucho, muchos participantes, because, por favor, stop, because, stop, stop, too much. Because teacher. Uh -huh. Because she is not here. Because she is not here, yeah. Porque queremos saber la razón. So we say because she's not here. Excellent, excellent, very good. So that's the way we are going to reply or respond. ¿Por qué vamos a responder because? Porque aunque no tenemos why al inicio, pero lo que este how come is trying to ask is a reason. We are trying to know why or how is that possible that I cannot see here. Going to answer because she is not here, because she is doing something else, because she doesn't want to see you, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay. So, do we have any questions so far? Clear the use of how far, how long, how many, how much, how all. Is it clear the use of how? Clear as the water, o andamos como el chat entre café por ahí. For me, it's clear. Clear, okay. What about the other ones? Is that clear for you all? Yes. Perfect. So now we're going to move on to the exercises then. So here we have some exercises. I need you to take a screenshot of that. And we are going to go to the breakout rooms, okay? So we're going to work on this part. And this is going to be the last thing that we're going to do regarding to how. And WH questions, of course. So you know when you're done, so I can uh, send you to the breakout rooms, okay? Can I stop sharing? Well, I would take that as a yes. Let's see. All right, so I already sent you the invitations. Everyone go to your uh, to your groups and start working on that, okay? Sin querer borrar el cuadrito, me lo envía por favor de nuevo. I'm sorry, Elizabeth, did you say something? Ah, es que por apagar el micrófono borré la invitación para entrar a un grupo. Ok, let me see. Let me send you to this one. Ok. Who has the picture, the screen? Yes. Can you share with us? The first is the sentence, not the question. hacer porque es lo, es lo mismo creo yo ¿vale? llegar no llegar, puedo llegar y ir porque el verbo es go, uh -huh, go. entonces uh -huh. ir los demás what opinion La, eh, eh, la respuesta debe de contener el mismo verbo. ¿verdad? I go to school. I go. I go. I go. Ahorita, ahorita la subo. Ah, ok. okay. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Creo bien. Ay, pues, 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 pues. 
está. Ay, okay. ¿Ya está? Sí. Sí. Ahí está. Vaya, yo creo que la primera es How you go to school. How do you go to go school? Where is he work? When where is he work? Where when uh, when I think is where is he work? The number three when uh, when when is when is class, when did class end? When this? When? When did? When this? No. Did. When did the pasado class end? ¿Cuándo finalizaron las clases? Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Uh, what do your father do? What do your what? father do? What is your father, your father do? What do, do your father do? The ones that already returned, were you able to complete all the exercises? Did you complete them all? Or not? No. No. Didn't. Okay. All right. So um, I don't know if the other ones are going to still going to come back to the session. We're just gonna wait for them. All right, I see that other ones are, okay. Now, let me see, on the first one, let me ask uh, Maximo, what's the answer for number one? I go to the school Say it again. In the car. Say, it, please. Teacher. Can you listen to me? Can you repeat it again? The answer. Yes. Uh, okay. I go mm -hmm. to school mm -hmm. in car okay in this case guys what you, what i wanted you to do is that aquí tenemos is a clue simple question simple present les aseguro que nadie vio estas letritas rojas que decía clue questions simple present what does that mean that you were going to create questions in simple present based on what we have here. So the answer for number one was, how do you go to school? Now, do, do you understand now what we were trying to do? I have. I have Ilma. Yeah. I have. It's okay. How do you go to school? Yeah. 
we write. How do you go to school? Okay, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That's, the, the, uh -huh. uh, that's the, the question, question that I want you to do, okay? So uh, these exercises are going to you just for you to practice, guys, if you want to practice at home. And uh, that's going to be all for today, okay? So I will see you guys tomorrow with the same, well, not tomorrow, my bad. I will see you <laughs> on Monday, okay? Tomorrow, no class. Okay. No class for tomorrow, and I will see you on Monday next week, okay? Try okay. on the platform, and for the other ones, I will be still uh, be in touch with you. Uh, Claudia, Rosemary, and Luis, we will try to check the exercise mm. section number two, okay? So okay, I will see you guys okay, on, Monday, and Bye, see you on Monday. Bye, see you Monday. Bye, see you Monday. Bye.